adding symbols. We can use the symbols option once we're in the M text and we're writing text and we want to put a common symbol in. We can go up to insert panel and go to symbol. We hit the down arrow. We have a lot of commonly types of symbols listed. So for example, degrees. And I can come down here and say, oh, I want to go and put plus minus. Or I could put in the diameter. And so there's many of these listed here. Uh, as you can see in the list here, we have all kinds of them down here. We even have one that's called a non-breaking space. That's when we want to put two words together that we don't want them separated when we get to the end of the paragraph. So the two words have to stay together. We also have what's called other. And other brings us up to another uh, dialog box. And in our dialog box, we have a variety of fonts. And I can choose any font I got. And each one has thousands of symbols. So depending on what I choose, and there's just tons of them here. And if you go down the line, we have weather, we have math, we have all kinds of things. We have Arabic. You name it, we got it, right? So I'm going to just go with Arial for now. And then in Arial, I have all these symbols in the Arial alone. And I can just hunt through them. And so I'm just going to go up to the beginning here. And I'm going to come down, and I see this copyright sign. I'm going to pick on it and say select. Now, that copies it down into this box. Next, I'm going to say copy. And I copy that to my clipboard. Now I come over into my text editor. I right click and I say paste. And I have just now copied in uh, that particular symbol into my MALT M text. So adding symbols, I go up to the symbol. I can pick any symbol off the list. I can go to other. And in the other, I actually can come along and pick whatever uh, font I want. I'll go with Arial. And in the font, I can go with an at symbol. Like if I want to type in an email address, say select. I copy it to the clipboard, and then I come down and I say, um, you know, the at symbol, or I can say, you know, it's uh, J Bordeaux. And now I'll go right click and I'll say paste, and I'll go at kcc.edu. So the at symbol uh, gets pasted in there. Now you might notice that these symbols come in not exactly at any particular font height. Um, they do have some limited ability to change the sizes of these things. Uh, you know, when you pick on them, uh, we can change them a little bit, but they are um, they do have some minor issues on scalability. Uh, so I could change that if I really need to, but um, they come in uh, based on the default text size. So that is adding symbols.